What is going on guys, it's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video, we are going to be in Pinellas County and we're actually going to be touring an abandoned mansion. It's located in a great location. It's right on the ocean. So you have beautiful views of the Gulf. And this was more of a spontaneous video for us and we had a lot of fun touring it. We didn't actually plan on doing this, but when we went to the property, we seen it had so much potential. It does need a lot of work. It has fire damage, so there's a lot of things that need to be done, but I think you guys agree the potential is definitely there. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about this property. I'm gonna stop talking now so we can get straight into the video. All right, guys, we have just arrived here in Pinellas County at this property. It's like an abandoned mansion. It's a really kind of sad story, but the property has so much potential. So I really hope the next person that gets this property, I'm sure they're going to restore it back to its original glory. So anyways, we're actually right in between, well, we're close to St. Pete and then also Clearwater. I can't actually say the city that we're in because I say it wrong every time. So I'm going to have Mabel go ahead and say it so that I don't embarrass myself. So go ahead. <laughs> it's called Tierra Verde. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, I wanna give you guys a quick look at the street view. It's, like I said, phenomenal location. It's right on the water and um, the houses around it are beautiful. So I wanna go ahead, turn the camera around now, show you guys a quick look at the street view. All right, so here's a look at the property that we're gonna go ahead and tour here shortly, but I wanna give you a quick look at the street view. We're gonna go ahead and also add some aerial shots uh, within this segment as well, just so you guys can get a look a little bit more at the surrounding area but uh quick specs of this home folks is it features five bedrooms you have five full and then you have one half bath 8337 square feet of interior space does have a monthly hoa of 132 dollars a month it was built in 1991 and it is currently on the market for three million one hundred thousand dollars sitting on a 0 0.26 acre lot and it is located right on the water as I'm sure you just seen from the drone shot. So anyways, here's a look at the outside. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it needs a lot of love. I do love the circular driveway as well. And then you also have the staircase that will lead up to the front door. But uh, first you notice the garage is absolutely smoked. You can see it looks like somebody maybe backed into it. I don't know what happened there. You'll see as we go along throughout this tour that um, there's some things that are kind of unexplained, but when you tour these homes that have been distressed and uh, have been vacant for so long, anything can happen and you can really just run into any kind of problem that's unexpected. So we can't unfortunately go through the front door because it is locked, but look at this. So nice. And then you also have, if you go to the, uh, go to the left hand side, you have the little balcony area there. And then also to the right, you have the same thing. So really nice little areas that you can, you know, go in and out of the house. But uh, this is actually where we're going to enter it's just right here. And this would be bedroom number one. So the bedroom obviously has front access to the house and then nice high ceilings. You got a ceiling fan. And um, like I said, I think this property has tons of potential. And uh, as we go in, you have the attached bath, a little damage to the uh, countertop, as you can see, toilet, shower tub combo. And uh, this all needs to be just ripped out. It's all got to go obviously, but um, I want to make sure I show you guys everything. Got some drywall damage as expected. And um, here's a look at the attached walk-in closet really nice size closet there and then as we uh, go into the living room and then also we see the front staircase uh, the second level there's three levels here so we'll just go ahead and start just right in front we have the living room space and you have a ton of windows right here that let in a lot of natural light and uh, we have the kitchen, which is just right to the left-hand side. And we'll get down this hall hallway in a moment, but um, more drywall damage, as you can see. All the flooring and things like that need to be ripped out and replaced. This door here is obviously it flew off or somebody kicked it off, one of the two, I don't know. 
there's a lot of things that have happened here that we don't know of. And um, also, we'll just go ahead and uh, let's actually just go this way first. Because as you can see, we have what used to be an elevator until you didn't have an elevator and it caught fire. <laughs> so you don't really know what happened there, but at least the good part is at least the whole house didn't catch fire because of this one issue. So anyways, as we turn around, we'll actually go right into bedroom number two. And good sized bedroom too. All these bedrooms are very spacious. So look at the closet. And then we also have the attached bath. Ugh, gross. But anyways, definitely needs to be replaced. Everything needs to go. And uh, I do love the fact that you do have access to the back deck area because again, guys, it is three levels. So you have back deck access on all three levels. And obviously it's very spacious as well. You got a pool right there. And then look at this beautiful view. Can't beat that. And um, yeah, so let's get back in. This is a big house. Like I said, over 8,000 square feet. So I'm gonna do my best to show you everything I can without missing anything. But anyways, I love the open railing up there. We'll get to the third level here momentarily. But um, I believe this would be the dining room space? What do you think it is? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think this was the dining, dining room space. And then you have some doors right there that will lead out to the back of the house. And we'll make our way to the kitchen space. Look at this. All the appliances, kitchen cabinets, everything needs to be completely replaced. Everything is absolutely smoked and needs to be ripped out immediately. But if we look at the positives here, the space is what really matters because you can make it really a dream kitchen. Oh, almost fell. But uh, anyways, there's a look at the cooktop right there, gas cooktop, and then you have the island. So, oh, it looks like you have, that's a dishwasher. Is that two dishwashers? What is that? Let me to open them? Yeah, sure. Open this one. I know that's a dishwasher. Oh, there's what not is a cockroach in here. <laughs> there's a cockroach in the screen. Wait, maybe that's a mini oh, fridge. That. Okay, yes, it's a fridge. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I think we're done there. <laughs> yeah, it's a fridge. Yeah, anyways. So we got our breakfast nook right here. And um, then we also have some more living space, which look how big this is. Tons of living space with all these beautiful windows. I actually love the windows. I would see if I could keep the windows if it was me. Um, just because I love the way that looks. And then you also have the wood burning fireplace just right there. And here's a look at the whole space just from this, this side here. So I'm sure you can agree, tons of potential, but tons of money is going to need to go into this. So let's continue the tour because we have a lot to cover in this massive house. So, all right, where do we go next? So that's down to the first level. Do you want to go there first? What do you want to do? Okay, well, actually you're right. We haven't even showed, her, showed them everything on this level. So this would be the laundry area, the laundry room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the laundry, there we go. So this is the, um, there's this washer and dryer hookups just right there. And then you also have a sink with some cabinet space and counter space some storage space just right there as well. So yeah, and then we have, okay, so this is the next bathroom. Let's see what's in here. Everything is all black. Ah, wow, it's disgusting. Anyways, so it looks like we have a media room next. And this is also through these doors here, you can get to the front of the house just right here. But uh, this is also just a medium room, I'm guessing. I don't know, maybe they had a TV on the wall here and uh, I don't know, played music and stuff, but look at all these uh, electronic VCR stuff and whatnot. But anyways, I think that's it for this level. Let's go ahead and go down. Do you want me to go in the front? Sure, yeah, let's do that. Just be careful, just be careful. You never know. It's a little dark down here, guys, because there's no 
power throughout the house. So we're using the phones just to uh, light up these areas, as you can see, because we have no other choice. Let's go, let's go right first, just because. Garage. Yeah, so this is the garage space. And uh, like I said, actually it doesn't look too bad on camera from what I can see. So this is, yeah, garage space, put a car here. And then as we continue, put another car right here in this area that we're walking through. We actually have not walked this whole area yet. So this is all new. So this looks like it could be like a dungeon. This is giving me dungeon vibes. I don't know what to say here, but uh, okay, put another car here. Oh wow, it goes all the way back. Look at that, you got a lot of cars. Can they see? Yeah, they can see. If you got a lot of cars, Wow, you can probably fit three cars in here easily. Oh gosh, let's go. Okay, let's turn around. <laughs> let's turn around just because we're both creeped out. It's really dark and weird down here. So, uh, but anyways, hope you guys appreciate the effort because uh, that was definitely uncomfortable for both of us. <laughs> but um, anyways, you do have some, I believe you have a room down here as well. So, oh. There's another space. Let's go see what's going on in here. Oh, is there car, this is carpet. Yeah, it is carpet. Yeah, this is carpet. Oh wow, this might just be a big room here. Uh, I don't think we should go any farther. Just move a little ball here. Oh wow, look at you. <laughs> someone's, got, someone's, someone's got balls now, wow. That's it, that's as far as I go. Oh, is that fire damage? What is that? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, let's get out of here. We've seen enough, time to go. All right. Whew. Really had your heart going a little bit. Okay, so we gotta look, looks like we have a little storage space here. You know, just your regular cockroaches all over the ground here. Uh, nothing new, but um, this is a very interesting space. Maybe like a wine? Maybe oh. they put their wine here somewhere? You think? I think, I think maybe it was. But um, yeah, who knows? Then you also have a little like, coat closet. Hang your coats up there, because it's so cold here in Florida. You need a coat. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and go to my right, and we'll find ourselves a bathroom? It's a pool bathroom. Pool bath, okay. I was a little confused, because it's a big house, so I don't know, kind of lost where I'm at. So we got the uh, walk-in shower there, toilet, and uh, sink to finish it out and then we have a little area here just like a little sitting area and then you have a wet bar um, as you can see just right here just right before you go out to the pool so we're gonna go, out, go ahead and go out to the backyard now and uh, show you guys the pool space and uh, go from there so look at this it's actually Easter weekend so you got everybody out on the boats enjoying life see here was the dock here but obviously it's uh it's found its way to the water so it's uh, no longer available so make sure to add that to your There's budget fish right there, like one of those oh you found a fish okay but look at this house from this side of the house it's absolutely beautiful i can see it already done i think it has so much potential and uh i can't wait till i see somebody restore this as well and then you got to outdoor kitchen right there. I'm not gonna go all in there. We're actually just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe we should go up this, oh, what is it, circle or spiraling staircase, go to the second level and go through the third one. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. All right. This is fun. This is an adventure for sure. All right, so we made it to the second level. We're just gonna go ahead and go through this room here and then we are going to go to the third level, show you guys the final level of this home that we can and that should conclude the mansion tour. But like I said, in all seriousness, I think this house has so much potential. You can't obviously change the location and the location is beautiful so here's a look at the staircase this is what it is now but it could be beautiful one day so it's an interesting chandelier 
But uh, anyways, let's make our way up. Broken glass. But I'm sure whoever decides to buy this is not planning on restoring most of this stuff anyway. So it's all gotta go. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the left first and then we'll finish in the primary suite. So here again, this is where the elevator was until it wasn't and it caught fire. So anyways, next bedroom here. Really nice size bedroom. Got some drywall damage. And then we also have the attached bath. Sink vanity, shower tub combo. Ready, it looks ready to go. Let's go ahead and get in there, have a good bath. Just kidding. Definitely don't wanna get in there. And then there's a look at the closet. So we are done on this side. Let's go ahead and go to the opposite side of this third level and check out the primary bedroom. All right, so here's a look at this whole space here. The primary bedroom is just through that hall there, but you have some additional space here. Maybe if you wanna you know, put some chairs or something there, sit, make it a little sitting area, um, but at least it's, you know, you've got additional living space if you need it. Then we'll make our way to the primary suite and look at this guys. You got a door here that you can fully obviously see the pool area and then these windows again, beautiful windows and um, very nice size bedroom. Then you also have a wood fireplace, some drywall damage, as you can see, tons of mirrors. So, hey, but um, anyways, let's go ahead and go into the primary bath. We got the soaker tub. That's very interesting soaker tub. That's like a little hot tub. What is that? What do you think that is? Yeah. That's like those 80 blooms. Yeah. Hot. Definitely looks like a little hot tub. All right. To the opposite side, we have the toilet area. Then we have the walk-in shower. Very interesting choice of tile. Couple uh, shower nozzles. And uh, then we have the sink and vanity. And there's sink and vanity number one just right there. And then we have sink and vanity number two just on the opposite side. And then we'll make our way to the walk-in closet. It's a nice size walk-in closet. And we'll find the next one just right here. So yeah, I believe that will be all. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around. But in all seriousness, guys, it was fun to tour this property, but I think this property has a ton of potential. The location is phenomenal. The community is beautiful and um, you have multi-million dollar houses all around it. Obviously it comes down to price. What can you get it for? How much you have to put into it? I get all that. But uh, I know one day somebody will purchase this property and restore it back to its glory. So I think uh, that will be really, really nice to see, especially in this community. So what did you think about this house so far? Can you buy it for me? Nope. Please? Not gonna do it. Not gonna do Please? it. Not gonna do it. That's, can't do it, sorry. But um, anyways guys, let me know your uh, opinion about this property down in the comments below. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. Give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.